Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back to our video on, on uh, mathematics for matriculations first semester. In the previous videos, we already finished discuss about the first chapter regarding the number system. So we already discuss about the real number system. So how how many types of different how many types of numbers in real numbers existed in real num uh, real number system. And then we discuss also the concepts of indices, set, and algorithms. And then we proceed to the to another kind of or another kind of uh, numbers that we, that is called complex numbers. So we already see what is what how we define complex numbers. What is the conjugates? What is the properties of complex numbers? And how we represent complex numbers uh, geometrically? So in this video we proceed to the next chapter of our, from our book that is chapter 2 equations inequalities and absolute values. So in this chapter you are expected to know how to solve equations in, and uh, how to solve equations how to solve inequalities and uh, anything that regarded regarded uh, absolute values. If you remember actually in our in the first chapter I already introduced to you uh, the concepts of absolute values. So, in this video, I don't know whether I will introduce it again to you. We look it. I will look it in the next video how we are going to. But I think it's already it's it's it's, uh, it's related to solving the equation also. But but in this chapter, we need we learn how to solve equations that has absolute values. Okay. But in this video, we are not going to discuss about it yet. Don't worry. Okay, so we are going to the first subtopic of the chapter that is equations. Okay, so here we are concerned about how to solve equations that has three things, that involves three things. First one is sets. Sets. Sorry. Sets. Second one, indices. And third one, sorry, logarithm. Sorry, logarithms. Okay. So we go to the first, the first part. Solving equations, equations involving 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 sets. Sorry, involving sets. Okay, to solve equations that involve sets okay let's say we have uh, let's say we have this kind of question okay so let, we, let's take an example okay let's take an example example solve solve set x minus 7 Sorry, x plus 7. Minus x minus set x minus 5 equals to 2. Equals to 2. Okay. Okay. Now, in order for us to solve this kind of equation that involves sets, means that in in the equation there are one or two terms or maybe more there are one or more terms that has sets okay if you don't if we if you uh, the first thing that we will do is always remember this remove the set symbol okay so this is the first tip always sorry always Always remove set 
simul. Okay, always to always remember to remove search symbol. Okay, because if we don't remove, that will be a problem for us to to solve it. Okay, now how to remove? Okay, remember that. Okay, for example, we have square root square root of uh, square root square root of a number. Okay, we have set. Let's say we have set of a. Okay, how to remove the search symbol is if we remember again. Uh, in terms of index notation, set A is A to the power of half. Okay, if you are going to using this tip, okay, to remove the set means to remove this index. How? We manipulating one of the one of the law of indices that is we multiply with two. We multiply, no, 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 in, no, sorry, sorry, not multiply. We put the power of set A to squared. Okay. So we have A set and then squared. We squared the set A. Then we, we, when, we, when we put the squared on that number, this, this index will eliminate this index. Then it will give us only A because what's left here is 1. Okay, so... To remove the search symbol, we always square the term. Okay, we always square the term. Okay, in this in, in this example, in this equ in this example, to to solve the equation, we always square both side of the equation, both side of the equation, because that is what that is algebra actually. Algebra is uh, algebra is about balancing the equation. If we put square here. If we put squared on the left hand side, but we don't put squared on the left hand on the right hand side, then it will not be algebra anymore. Okay, remember, always put set symbol. Okay, so here's come the second tips. Okay, how to remove? We square both sides of equation okay so we put square we put square on the both side of the equation so here we have here we have okay here we have oh maybe i should use blue here so we have if we remember again a minus b squared is a minus b squared is uh, a minus b squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ab okay so we have okay so we have square of set x plus 7 so we have x plus 7 so we have x plus 7 and then we have plus x minus 5 and then we have minus 2 multiply set x plus 7 multiply x uh, multiply set x minus 5 equals to okay 2 squared 4 2 squared that is 4 okay so we have we can expand this x this bracket and we evaluate so we have 2x so we will have 2x and then 7 minus 5 is plus 2 and then we have Two set x plus seven set x minus five. So we have two sets being multiplied means that we can combine the two sets into one set. Okay, so we we will have two set two set. Okay, two set. Uh, okay. 
I think we don't need to this one. Too. Okay. Before we can squat. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Before we can squat. Okay. X plus seven minus x minus five set equals to two. Okay. Okay. First thing first. Before we squat both sides of equation. We move these terms, negative set x minus 5, to the right hand side. So what we'll have is, set x plus 7 equals 2 plus set x minus 5. Okay. And then, we square both sides what will happen is the left hand side it will be only x plus 7 at the right hand side we have 4 plus 4 multiply x minus 5 and uh, multiply set x minus 5 Plus, plus what again? Uh, X minus 5. Okay. And then we evaluate all the terms on both sides. Okay. So we don't need to evaluate the, right, the left hand side. So we can maintain it. We can, make, we can leave it as, it as it is. So we have X plus 7 equals 2. Okay. Now we have 4. 4 set X minus 5 x and minus 5 so we have so we evaluate 4 minus 5 equals to negative 1 x so i think we, we we write x first and then negative 1 and then we have 4 set x minus 5 and then and then we can move x and minus 1 to the left. x minus x and minus 1 to the left. So we bring, so we become x plus 7 minus x plus 1 equals to 4, 4, set x minus 5. And x minus x gives you 0. 7 plus 1 gives you 8. So we have 8 equals 4 set x minus 5. And then, we can, eliminate, we can eliminate 4 here by dividing both sides with 4. Both sides with 4. So we have at the, at the right hand side, we have 4 set x minus 5 divided by 4. It will become only set x minus 5 at the left hand side also we divide with 4 so we have 8 minus 8 divided by 4 equals to 2 okay again here now we have now we have one set at the at one of the sides of the equation okay so here again we eliminate the we eliminate this the the set sign here, the set symbol here. Again, we we square both of the sides. It will become two squared equal to four. Set x minus five squared equals to x minus five. And then we can solve. We can find x equals to. We bring five to the left hand to the left hand side. We have four plus five. So we have, no sorry, so we have x equals to 9. Okay, so that is our, this is our, this is our, uh, our solution for, for the question. Okay, now, can we leave the answer at, 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 as it is? The answer is no. We must make sure that our, our solution must satisfy this equation. Okay, so what we'll do is, 
So what we'll do is we take another paper. We take another paper. Okay, in an, in that paper, we substitute the value of x to the equation. So here we have x equals to 9. So we put into the equation we have 9 plus 7, a uh, set 9 plus 7 minus set 9 minus 5. So we will have 9 plus 7 equal to 16. So set 16 minus 9 minus 5 is equal to equals to 4. So we have set 4. So we have here 16 is 4. Set 16 is 4. Set 4 is 4. Set 4 is 2. So we have 2. Okay. So our answer, so we have so we have the answer so we have the uh, our final answer is same as the left hand uh, the right hand side of the equation. Okay. So so for equation that involves sets, the first thing that we should we should we should know is always remove set symbols. How we square both we square both sides of the equation. Okay. And then after we got our, our after we obtain our solution, please check our solution by substitute by substituting the value into the equation okay so that's three things that you need to know and no, no that's two things that you need to know first square both sides of the equation okay and then after we have after we obtain the solution please make sure that we get our so we get the, the right solution how by substituting the value into the equation okay so let's try another equation. Let's try another question. Example. Wait. Example. Example. So. Sorry. Three. Minus set x minus one uh, equals to set x plus two. Okay. So first thing first, we need to eliminate the the set symbol. How by we squared both side of equation okay but since one but since only for each side only one terms that has set symbol so we, we don't need to move any terms okay different with before we have one side contains two set symbols okay and one side does not contain set symbol okay that's why in this in this example we move one of the set symbol from left to the right but here, no need to do that because each side has one terms that contains set symbol. Okay, so now we can proceed to square squaring both sides of the equation. Okay, so now we put square on both equation. What we will have is 9, 9 plus, okay, it should be minus. Uh, 2 multiply 3 is 6 set x minus 1 plus x minus 1 equals to x plus 2 and then we move any terms that one to one side okay and we move this. okay so we 9 plus x minus 1 minus x minus 2 so we move x and 2 from left from right to the left and then we move negative 6 sets x minus 1 to from right from left to right so equals to 6 set x minus 1 okay so we evaluate the left hand side so we have 9 minus 1 minus 2. 
So, negative 1, negative 2 equals to negative 3. So, 9 minus 3 is 6. And then we have positive x minus x. So, positive x eliminated by negative x. So, what's left here is 6 equals to 6, set x minus 1. Okay. And then, since both of the sides have 6, have the same factor 6, so we can eliminate the 6 here by dividing each side by 6. So, what we'll have here is 1 equals 2 equals 2 set x minus 1 okay now since one of the sides also has has the set, sim, set symbol so we eliminate the sets by squaring both sides again so we put square here we put square here so what we'll have is one square still one but now the right hand side is x minus 1. So we have our answer x equals to 2. Okay, now we check our solution. Do we, ha do we have uh, the right solution? So we put the solution here x equals to 2. So, so the right hand side 3 minus set 2 minus 1 equals to set 2 plus 2 ok so we will have 3 minus uh, set 1 equals to set 4 so set 1 still 1 so we have 3 minus 1 but set 4 is 2 so we have 3 minus 1 equals to 2 left hand side also 2 so we have the left hand side has the same value is equals to the, right, the left hand side. Uh, the left hand side is uh, equals to right hand side. So now we can we can say that our solution is correct. Okay. Okay. That's uh, that's enough about equations that involving uh, that involves sets. Okay. How about equations that involve indices and logarithm? Equations. Equations involving indices and logarithm. Okay, how about how about so equations that involve indices and logarithms? How to solve them? Okay. Okay, so about this kind of equation, we need to go back about uh, to we, do we need to go back to what we know about indices and logarithm. Okay, okay, remember that we learn about we learn about index property of equality and logarithmic property of uh, equality. Yep, Is, do you still remember that? If you still remember that then. That is the key to solve equations that has indices and logarithm. That is the key. Okay, so as a as what we call as a revision. Okay, I would like to remind you again about that properties. So, okay, so let's say we have if 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 a is not equals to positive and negative 1 and a also is not equal to 0 then for indices we have a, a equals to x a, 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 a to the power of x equals to a to the power of y implies that x equals to y for logarithm, okay, we have additional condition. We still have same condition as before. If A is not equal to uh, positive negative 1, it's not equal to 0. And A must be greater than 0. Okay, if we have 
log x to the base of a equals to log y to the base of a. This implies that x equals to y. Okay, so this is the properties of uh, this is the equality properties that I've I've mentioned I've mentioned before. You should be remembered. You should you should know and remember it because I already mentioned it in the previous video, in the previous videos. Okay, so if you don't remember, please, uh, please go back to that video and make sure you understand about the the equality properties of indices and logarithm. Okay, so now. We go into the first, no, this is not the first, this is the third uh, example. Okay, so we have third example. We use uh, equations uh, evolving indices first. Okay, now we have e example. Sorry. Solve 5 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 10 multiply 8 to the power of 2x minus 3 oops sorry okay okay so now so now we have Hmm, what should we do? What should we do here? What should we do here? Okay, what should we do here? Alright, so... So, what I'm going to show you here... Okay, it's quite bit bizarre. <laughs> quite bizarre here, okay, because we have 10 here. And then we have base 8 and base 5. Both of them are not related at all. Both of them are not related by factors or multiples and so on. But we know that 5 and 10 is because... No, 10 is multiples of 5. Only that's all. Okay. So, what should we do here? We rewrite this term and this term according to the law of indices that we already learned. Okay. So, we rewrite it again as 5x multiply 5. Okay. And then we have 10 equals to 8 to the power of 2x. Uh, okay, because it's minus, minus 3, right? So, we have 8 2x over 8 cube. Ha 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 what we what we have here okay okay now so so now we can eliminate it's not that we can eliminate okay we can simplify this ten first okay we, okay the first thing that we can do is we divide both sides with five okay so now we have five x multiples five divided by five so what's left in the left hand side is five to the power of x and then we divide the same we divide the right hand side with 5 also but we divide with uh, we divide we divide the constant 10 with 5 okay so we have 2 10 divided by 5 is 2 and then this one still mean, the the bracket still same so we have add to the power of 2x over okay now we can find the value of add to the power of 3 so add to the power of 3 is Sorry, I forgot. X squared is 64. 64 multiply 8 is... Uh, no, 2, 3. Uh, 4, 6, 8, 48. 5, 1, 2. Maybe 5, 1, 2. Maybe 5, 1, 2. I forgot. <laughs> okay, 5, 1, 2. Okay, 5, 1, 2. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. So now we can simplify 2 with uh, 5, 1, 2. Okay. Because both of them are uh, even number, we can divide 5, 1, 2 with 
uh, divided with 2. So we have 5, 1, 2 divided by 2 is 4, sorry, 2, 4, 5, 6. So we have 5 to the power of x equals to 8 to 6 over 2, 5, 6. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, because we have two here, right? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Okay, we have two here. Okay, so we have 5x. Okay, 5 to the power of 2x is, we can write it as 5 uh, x squared uh, to the power of x or at x to the power of squared, uh, to the power of 2. So I prefer to use this one. So we can evaluate x squared, that is 64x equals to 256. Okay. So now we, we do simple algebra. We move the denominator from the left, from the right hand side to the, to the left, to the left. And then we move 5x from the left to the right. Okay. So what we do here is 256 equals to 64x divided by 5x. Okay. So now we have at the left hand side, we have 64x divided by 5x. Both of them have the same power x. Okay. What we can do here is 256 equals to bracket. 64 divided by 5 close bracket to the power of x. Okay. Okay. I think I should open the... Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay. I should open the calculator. Okay, 64 divided by 5. 12.8. Uh, okay, so now we have 12 point x to the power of x equals to 256. So now we can find x. How? Using logarithm. So now we can, we can use logarithm to find x. Okay, so we put log best 10 it, 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 it should be safer best 10 okay so we put log both sides okay what will happen is we have log 12.x uh, to the power of x equals to log 256 okay if we remember again the law of logarithm this x can be bring, can, we can bring x to the front of log. So what we have here is x log 12.8 equals to log 256. Okay, and then we can find x equals to log 256 over log 12.8. Okay, sorry. So we can find log 256 divided by log 12.8. So we have, oh, long. Okay, but we should take up to four significant figures. So 2.175. 175 because after five, the digit, the digit after five is zero. So it's not more than 5. Okay, so it is, it's not more than or equals to 5, sorry. So we, we take 2.175. So we have our answer is 2.175. Okay. Okay, we can check also. Okay, we can check also. Oh, no, no, no need, we, this part we need to check because why? Why? Okay, because... <laughs> 
we have the answer in we have the answer is the significant figure okay however it does not represent the analytical answer okay it's not as it's not represent the exact the exact solution yet okay that's why in this case it's better for you to leave the answer like that okay it's better for you to leave the answer like that okay why because our x in uh, is up to we take the value of x up to four significant figures okay however this answer is not exact this answer is not exact if we put this value into the equation what we will have here is this value the value on the left hand side will be slightly or maybe different from the right hand side okay that's why just leave the answer like that no need to recheck no need to check by substituting the value x into the equation on it Okay, we only check when it involves search and logarithm. Remember, eh? we only check the answer when it involves search or logarithm. Okay, Ooh. <laughs> we go to the second example, still about equations uh, involving indices. Okay, so we have not it, it's the second example, it's the fourth example in this video. Okay. So we have example. Okay, sorry. Solve nine x and nine to the power of x plus twenty equals two three to the power of x plus two. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So this one is slightly different from the previous one. Okay. It's not that directly you can solve. Eh? It's not directly you can solve. Okay. First thing first. Okay. First thing first. Observe that we have 9 and then we have 3. Here the plus 2. Okay. Plus 2. Okay. What I can advise you is try to rewrite this two terms right to read these two terms okay so we have 9 actually 3 squared okay so we have 3 to 3 squared to the power of x okay and then we have plus 20 okay or maybe you can also write it as 3 to the power of x squared also same okay and then we have 3 to the power of x multiply 3 squared. Okay. See that we have 3x squared and then we have 3. Okay. Maybe you still uh, doesn't realize again. Okay. I will rearrange the term. I will bring the, left hand, the right hand side term to the left. So we will have 3 to the power of x squared. Minus, uh, okay, we can evaluate this squared 9. Okay, 9. Uh, what is again? 9 multiply 3x plus 20 equals to 0. Okay. Okay. Actually, you, we can see that here we have quadratic equation but we have 3x here indices we have indices form but okay if you cannot see again let u equals to 3x okay and then we substitute u into the equation we will have we will have u squared minus 9 u uh, sorry minus, minus 9 u because 3x is u Okay, plus 20 equals to 0. Okay, so now we can see that here we have, uh, here we have quadratic equation. Okay, but, but we not, to, we cannot solve using the, we, we still solve, okay, we still solve using the, the quadratic method. But it's not the directly. Okay, first we solve for you. So we solve for you, okay. So we solve for you. We have, we have 
u u 5 4 so u multiply u is u squared 5 multiply 4 is 20 ok we, we have 5 u we have 4 u 9 u but we have negative 9 so here should be negative so we have u minus 5 multiply u minus 4 equals to 10 eh, equals to 0 so now we have value u is u is equals to 5 and u is equals to 4 but this is not our, our, our final answer yet because we need to find x not u ok only that we substitute back 3x into u ok so we have 3x equals to 5 and then 3x equals to 4 ok now we are using logarithm here Okay, so the first one is x log 3 equals to log 5 and then x log 3 equals to log 4. So we have x equals to log 5 over log 4, sorry, over log 3 and then x equals to log 4 over log 3 ok 5 over 3 ok still we need to we still we need to we need to take up to 4 significance figure ok so we have 1.464 after 4 is 9 so we can we 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 round out 4, we count 5. Okay, so we have 1.465. X equals to 1.465. Second value of X is log 4 over log 3. Okay, so we have 1.261. After 1 is 8. So we add the 1. Add, we add 1. Okay, we round up the the number. We become one point two six two. One point two six two. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, that's about equations involving indices. So now we go to the last part of the video of this video equations involving logarithm the same thing okay the same thing okay but as i said before as i said before we need after we after we obtain the solution we need to check whether the our solution is correct or not by substituting by substituting our answer into the equation but this this tip is only applicable for equation that involves search and logarithm okay so we already done search before so now we that we we are we solve equations involving in this uh, involving logarithm so fifth example sorry fifth example 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 solve sorry solve log base 2 x squared minus 10 equals to 1 plus log base 2 x minus 1 ok so again because it involves log so we are using the, the logarithmic properties of the logarithmic property of equality sorry that is what I will mention here this one wait again okay this one okay so we have we have two terms that if that has log base 2 when we have one here okay we have one okay what should we do here is we convert this term 1 into a term that involves log base 2 Okay, so remember that we know that, okay, log 
a base a will give you 1 right log a base a will give you 1 let's say we have let's say we have log 2 base 2 equals to 1 ok so now we change 1 here into log using the same base 2 log 2 base 2 ok so now we, we, we rewrite this equation again as log base 2 x squared minus 10 equals to now instead of 1 we have log 2 base 2 plus log base 2 x minus 1 ok so now we have at the, at the right hand side we have 2 logs uh, the first log uh, plus another log ok and both of them has the same base ok so we use another we use another law of indices uh, sorry we use another law of logarithm here we can combine these two in terms of ok we can combine so we write again as log base 2 x squared minus 10 equals to log base 2 2 multiply x minus 1 ok so now if we arrive here remember that here uh, logarithmic property of log, uh, of equality here so if we have log x base a equals to log y base a it implies that x equals to y ok so now here we arrive here so we can we can conclude that x squared minus 10 equals to 2x minus 2 ok ok since we have x squared right so we still need to so, so we need so we, we can expect that we are going to solve we are, we are going to find x using <laughs> using uh, quadratic equation method ok so we rearrange the term we have x squared minus 2x plus 8 no it's minus 8 equals to 0 ok so we can see that ok we have x x 4 2 so we have x squared we have 8 ok we have negative 8 but we don't know which one is negative ok 4 or 2 okay, so we try we have let's say we have 4 so 4 multiply negative 4 is negative 4x. x multiply 2 is 2x. So negative 4x plus 2x equals to negative 2x. Yes, we have the same here, negative 2x. So we can rewrite it as x minus 4x plus 2 equals to 0. Okay. So now we have our answer x equals to 4 and x equals to negative 2 ok <laughs> ok is this our solutions? not yet we need to check whether our solutions uh, our solutions satisfy the equation ok so we need to substitute both values ok let's say we have Let's say we have uh, Let's say we have hmm, We have log 2 So we have 4 squared minus 10 Ok uh, equals to okay we need to make sure that this answer is same as this one okay so we have 1 plus log base 2 4 minus 1 yes we have the same answer okay how about negative 2 yes bodohnya <laughs> bodohnya sorry yes negative 2 close bracket eh don't 
Okay, we have, okay, and then uh, 1, what again? Plus log 2, negative 2, 1 minus 2. Okay, <laughs> we have complex number here. Okay, we have complex number here. Okay, so, so left hand side is not equal to right hand side. So, we, we can see that when x equals to 4, left hand side equals to right hand side. However, when x equals to negative 2, right hand side is not equal to left hand side. Okay, so we can, we can, we can reject, we can reject the second solution. Okay, because we already, we already check, we already substitute both values. Okay, so we found out only one of them satisfy the equation. Okay, so our final answer is x equals to 4. Okay. Alright. Maybe I should take another example. Okay. Okay. We have the sixth example and the last example for this video. Example. Solve log base 2 x cube plus 1 for them. Minus 3 log 2 base 2 x equals to 1 okay okay for this example okay uh, I don't know your, your 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 way is how but I I don't like I don't like how we, I have negative 3 here you know minus 3 log x base 2 here so I will move this this term I will move this term to the right. So what we'll have what we will have here is log base 2 x cube plus 1 equals to 1 plus 3 log x to the base of 2. Okay. So we have 3 in front of log. So we can bring 3 here become the power to be to become the power of x so we have log base 2 x cube plus 1 equals to 1 plus log x cube base 2 and then we here we have 1 again we use the same tactics as before so now we have so we can write it again as log base 2 x cube plus 1 log 2 base 2 plus log x cube base 2 ok hmm hmm ok and then the same thing here because we can combine these two logarithm we will have log base 2 x cube plus 1 equals to log base 2 2 x cube so now we have both sides only have one log okay so that's why that's why we simplify the equation until we have both sides only have one log to make sure that we can have this form this form okay that's why we simplify and we simplify no it's not simply we manipulate we, we write the some some terms that can that can that can make our equation turns into this form okay so we have okay from here we can say that we can conclude that x cube plus 1 equals to 2x cubed okay okay so now we have 1 we bring x cubed to the left from left to the right so we'll have 
x cube x cube so the value of x that will if we if we if we cube if we cube the value x we will give you uh, we will give us the value one so only one answer x equals to one okay x equals to one x cannot be equals to negative one because if we have x equals to negative one what will happen here is okay negative one cube we will have negative one we will not have positive one okay should we check our answer whether our answer is correct yes we should check we should check okay so we substitute the x here so we have log two uh, one cube plus one minus what again minus three log two one yes we have one okay so we can say that our answer is one okay all right so that's all for our video so if you have any question or any comments related to this topic uh, please don't hesitate to leave the comments in the, in the comment section so we'll see you again in the next video inshallah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and see you next time.